So to start off the series, I thought about the one thing that all characters share in common, the dash gauge, and how vital it is to success and victory. It's basically your next thing you should learn how to use properly, after of course HP and bravery attacks, and in general after learning the basics in the tutorial. What makes learning how to use the dash gauge so important? Well, basically 90% of the time you're playing this game, when you're not attacking, you're dashing. You're dodging with the dash, you're moving with the dash, you're retreating with the dash, you don't spend much time on the ground for a reason. And that's because the dash gauge makes you go really fast, really quickly. There is a lot of benefit to learning when to actually stop dashing and to simply walk without doing anything else, but that's for another time. Right now we're just focusing on the dash gauge and how to use it properly without running out of dash all the time and getting killed when using it. So to start off, each role uses dash differently from each other. For example, vanguards have a very long startup. Here's every single role's dash compared to each other. Not even history will remember them. So what did that little clip even mean? Well, when it comes to startup, marksmen have the lowest startup, then assassins, then specialists, and then heavies. By the way, if you didn't know, startup is that small little crouch character does before they push off and start dashing. During this time you're kind of vulnerable because it takes a couple seconds for you to do another input, which means that a poorly timed dash can actually end up getting you killed for that one small moment where you can't really do anything other than wait for your character to start pushing off. While you try to dodge everything you can with the dash, because simply that's the way it should be, it allows you to go into attack much faster than conventionally dodging with the L1 button. At those close range distances or when you're near death, try to keep yourself from dashing right in front of enemies because then you'll get killed like I did in that clip. The startup lag is dashing's only problem. Everything else it's good for, attacking, comboing, retreating, etc. You just can't use that dash and wrap in somebody's face or they'll punish you for it. This rule applies more to vanguards and specialists than assassins and marksmen. Because their startup lag is pretty minimal and most people can't react in time to it. But still, it's it's worth keeping in mind even if you're playing as them. Because it's better to dodge when you're near death as them than to dash. Okay, enough of that. Now let's move on to other parts of the dash we should talk about. Next up, let's cover the speed of the dash. Before we go over each roll, however, we must go over certain EX skills and abilities that actually alter how dashes work. Revivify is a buff that increases the movement speed for all people within the radius when it's used. Now before we continue any further, Unfortunately, the numbers for a lot of these aren't given exactly, and no one knows them. It would take a ton of experimentation and math to learn the exact number that most of these are multiplied by, or where they multiply your movement speed by. So I'd recommend going to practice mode and getting a feel for each one of them, so you can go, okay, they're going to go about this fast, or can I escape this, etc. Because some of these only multiply by a, a teensy weensy bit, while other ones increase significantly, and you can tell from playing the game. Anyways, as you'll notice on screen right now, Vayne is doing his own unique EX skill, and the longer it's charged, the more buffs it gives. And one of those buffs is a movement speed increase, from 1.0 to 1.065. Next up is Furion's Blood Weapon EX skill, which increases his movement speed from 1.0 to 1.075. Bartz's EX skill increases the movement speed for his entire team. The multiplication depends on how many jobs he's mastered at the time of using that EX skill. Meaning that if he uses it at zero jobs, it does nothing. But if he has more than one job, it actually does increase your ally's speed, along with other benefits. Hera's trance increases her movement speed. Titus's EX skill not only increases his move speed, but refills his dash gauge if the last hit of the combo successfully hits an opponent. Both of the Rams' screams will increase movement speed. Galvanize for his allies while shout for himself. To keep this little segment from going on for too long, the last one I want to cover is Sephiroth's EX skill, Genova, which slows down everybody inside the range of his barrier, or bubble. I'm going to end this segment right here because even though there are more, these are the most common character specific speed buffs or speed decreases. I see in the game. Going back to this clip, let's go over who's the fastest and the slowest. Assassins go the fastest, then vanguards, and then specialists and marksmen share about the same speed. This means that despite having the shortest startup, marksmen will eventually be caught up to by both vanguards and assassins, however long it takes. The problem with that statement, however, 
is that it doesn't involve attacking, shielding, or actually landing when dashing. When you're in the middle of attacking or shielding, you, you don't recover dash gauge. To recover dash, you must be standing on the ground, moving without dashing or attacking. You can see in this clip that I use a lot of different things while I'm at retreating, such as attacks and shields and dodges. And during those moments, I can't recover any dash. However, there's some small moments where I stop and walk a little bit and recover my dash gauge as a result. There is one anomaly, however, in this little system. When you land from a jump or stop dashing, your character will simply skirt a little bit and then stand. After that, you'll recover dash. Bring that little moment where your character is placing their feet on the ground, getting back into the neutral standing position, they don't recover any dash, and you stop and you can't do anything just for that smidgen of a second. The reason why this is important is because you can't just stop in front of an enemy and expect to be okay. Not only are you left vulnerable, but also you don't recover any dash during that one second, which means they can just hit a neutral against you immediately and then, you know, end up killing you because they'll rush at you because they know you have no dash at that point because you suddenly stopped in front of them. So now the question is, when do you dash and when do you stop to regain dash gauge points? Well, to start off, never do what I'm about to do on the screen right here. Scar shall never fade. This gives your opponents so much leeway to know you're coming. Because you're just going at them immediately to land melee attacks. I did a video on offense that covers why this is stupid. But basically, it is just a huge red flag to the enemy team to just back up like one or two feet and throw a projectile at you. And then rush at you with a melee attack. Because they'll have a ton of dash on you. You won't be able to fight in the air. You have to land on the ground. They can just run directly above you and hit you and it becomes a mess really fast. So what you're going to do instead is not run directly at them and even if you are going to approach out using any projectiles at all, here's how you do it. You have to stay on the defensive using your shield and your dodges to get out of the way of attacks that you miss and potentially block or avoid attacks that are coming at you back. Because what you want to do is recover that dash gauge and keep it up high so you can dash quickly and then keep covering distance and getting closer to your opponent in order to have a high dash gauge and also hit them against the wall or just in general hit them. Try your best to keep your dash gauge in the blue. If it's at yellow, you should probably stop, shield, block any incoming attacks, or da dodge backwards, save a little bit of um, feet against the opponent, and then walk backwards a little bit while your dash gauge goes back to full. This way, you still can avoid attacks by simply walking back. You have a little bit more time to react. And as you get better and better, you can stop doing this and start actually approaching them with your dodges and, you know, stuff like that as you get more and more confident in your own dash ability and dash management. So now we know how to approach with dashing, but now the question is, when do you stop and actually recover that dash? Remember one thing, it's only like half a second long, so it's not like an entire second or like five seconds where you have to stop moving and walk. So it's not like you have to like spend an eternity on the floor. You can just stop quickly and then keep going. Let's return back to the idol of Warrior of Light. Foes such as these will not trouble us. There is only despair. On bigger levels like these, you can pretty much start directly dashing at them because no projectile in the game is this long. But then you're going to want to start corkscrewing left and right in order to avoid any projectiles that are coming your way. And of course, remember to stay with your team when you do this. Don't go off by yourself, which is a lot what a lot of players do and then end up getting killed. Once you've lost about one half or one third of your dash gauge, consider landing on ground that's about level with your current height to minimize the amount of time you're stuck in that weird end lag where when you land you can't gain any dash, and then continue approaching. This is because you want to lower the amount of time you're vulnerable to any projectiles that might be coming your way to reduce any bravery loss, and also to of course regain the dash faster and keep it at full. So when you finally reach them, you're at a full dash gauge and there's no weird disadvantage hat you have where you must stop and then regain your dash and then fight them because then you just end up losing because you can't even fight back because you can't approach them at all while they can approach you without a worry in the world. With that out of the way, you've basically learned everything there is to the basics of dashing. Let's summarize the points quickly. There are many EX skills and unique EX skills that affect movement. Assassins are the fastest characters, then vanguards, and specialists and marksmen share about the same speed. Along with that, marksmen have the fastest startup, then assassins, then specialists, and then vanguards. Don't dash directly at your opponents without some kind of stopping or recovery or creative approach because if you do, you'll end up directly in front of them with no dash at all. Dash gauge can only be recovered when you're standing on the ground and moving about without attacking, guarding, dodging, jumping, landing, or stopping. Don't dash in front of enemies because it's a small part of start lag 
where your character is crouching down and before they push off. Each character has this problem, and each character has it to a varying degree, but it's still one consistent variable. Startup lag will kill you. Learn those safe moments where you can recover dash gauge power. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. And if you need any more help, comment below. I'm pretty sure somebody will help you. I will help you. Maybe nobody will help you. But I'll probably try to get there and help you. As long as it's not like two years after this video came out. Something like that. But anyways, I'm Blue the Hedgehog. I'm always here trying to make the community a little better. A little bit more positive. A little more healthy place to discuss. And I'm always up to talk. I have a Discord. If you guys need to add me there, send me a DM. There's the City of Community Reddits. Um, there's the City of Community Discord. Uh, there's the City of Community Reddit Discord. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful there. But anyways, we're here to learn. You're here to help each other out. For this little series I'm working on, the City of Academy. It took me about like a whole day to produce this one episode. And maybe a little bit more of an earlier day. But that's besides the point. So these episodes are going to come out very fast, very often. In fact, I'll probably upload them all together at once. So you guys might be a little confused as why I'm saying all this. But that's okay. All that matters is that now you know how to dash a little better. And hopefully you'll understand why you're getting killed as soon as a match starts. And, you know, when you try to approach somebody, you get wrecked. Anyways, I'm Blue the Hedgehog. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe on this series, maybe on another one. And stay safe, don't your mom, and learn to play to see you better. Take these notes that I've given you into your heart. And use them to win. Alright guys, bye-bye.